What's up YouTube? Welcome to No Pros Garage. Today we're going to be showing you how to test the starter if it's already out of your car. You can do the same checks on the car. It's obviously a little harder to get to, especially depending what type of vehicle you have. Now the starter that I'm going to be testing that's behind me on the ground is already bad. It just came out of my 2010 Ford F-150 just the other day as a matter of fact. But these procedures are the same to test if the starter is good, if it's brand new, if it's bad, if it's on the car or off the car. So here's some of the tools you'll need. Stay tuned and we'll teach you how to get it done. All right, welcome back. So here are some of the tools you guys are gonna need to test your starter. First of all, you're gonna have to get a battery, a uh, 12 volt source, okay? Whether it be uh, inside of a car or I just happen to have an old one out of a car that's still good. Um, and you're gonna need to have some jumper cables, okay? So you hook your jumper cables up to the battery. Uh, multimeter is a plus to make sure your battery has the power that it needs to turn over the starter, okay? I recommend a test light, of course, especially if you wanna test this on a car before you take the time to pull a starter out because they can be a pain. Uh, get yourself a test light, okay? It has to be an incandescent bulb. You do not want an LED bulb um, because what this is gonna do is supplement the load. So when you have your test lead hooked up to battery negative, okay? If you were to test battery positive, your test lead will light if you have a good connection, okay? So if this is on the car, and you have room to access it but you don't want to pull it out here's how you test it you hook your test lead up to battery negative or any kind of ground that's a good ground okay and you want to test your test lead meaning hook it up to a ground and touch something that has 12 volt power like the battery if you can get to it and it should light if it lights your ground is good okay and you can begin your test so now what you want to do is your starter is going to have power from the battery on this big post okay it has another post here that goes from the solenoid to the starter motor that's what that post is right there okay that one is either going to be attached by a little wire like you see here or a stud being longer that goes through a bracket that mounts to this but either way this power this is also 12 volt power goes to the starter okay so this one comes from the battery this one comes from the solenoid now this little s terminal is what engages the starter so on one of these bolts usually that actually mount your starter you're going to find a ground wire that goes to it so what you're going to want to do in here we're going to supplement you wires actually being hooked up from your battery as if this was in your car we're going to simulate that scenario okay so you have your ground wire that is connected let's see if i can get this on here hang on one second so you're going to have your ground wire that is hooked up to one of your bolts Okay, so just go into the housing and a starter, and you're going to have your positive cable coming from battery hooked up to the post I showed you. So now when you take your test light, when you know it's good, if you touch on that post, you should have power down at the starter, okay? Now, what you're going to want to watch for is in order to make sure that this test is good, you're going to want to have a partner turn the key while you're doing this. That light should stay lit. If it goes out when you're doing that test and you turn the key on, like you're trying to start the vehicle, if this light goes out, you have bad wiring to your starter. You have too much voltage loss or voltage drop as it's called, and your problem lies somewhere between the nut of this post and the wiring. So it can be anywhere in the eyelet of the wiring, the wiring itself, you could have too much corrosion on the stud or the nut, okay? All of those things can cause voltage drop and can cause your starter to fail. So, if you have a good power source going to here, you are also going to have another wire hooked up here where you should also see 12 volts. Now, I do not have that here, 
and you should see that 12 volts while you're cranking okay I do not have that wire here so it's not going to work that way however what we're going to do to test it and make sure it works which this starter does okay so what we're going to do is we're going to jump the starter and this test I have used on a car before with the starter installed um, it is not something I recommend if you have any other option to do that I recommend that but I have jump started a starter in the car and it has worked for me but damage can occur especially if your problem with the starter not starting is maybe the engine seized up or something else there there are a lot of precautions you have to take if you were to do that so I do not recommend it now that it's out of the car what you're going to do is you're going to take your screwdriver because we just proved that we have power right here where we need it okay you're going to secure your motor your starter uh, by hand or whatever just so it doesn't jump around if it kicks on and you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to touch this terminal to your small s terminal and what you're going to see is this armature which is the gear right here in the front and that little um, shaft is going to pop out and it's going to start to spin okay that's how you can test your starter that's how you know whether it's good or bad so there you go. Okay. so this starter is good it had I took it out of the car because it left me stranded and I kind of had a feeling that it was good because it showed absolutely no signs of going bad and it just died so what happened was this nut had too much corrosion and as you can see these copper wires are all beat up and breaking and there's a lot of corrosion there so I decided to remove it and now that you see it's broke just that quick try that same test again that will more than likely not work anymore so let's give that a shot so I can show you guys that it more than likely will not start anymore okay see I have nothing there no longer wants to start because that was my problem so even though the starter itself and the solenoid was actually good I saw corrosion problems and decided to change it because I didn't want to run into any other issues down the road so that is how you test a starter if you have any questions comments or concern drop them in the comments section down below thank you guys for watching and if you like this content hit the thumbs up like subscribe and share and if you ring that bell we'll give you some notifications on when we're putting out some new content we hope to be putting it out at least a video a week and more frequently if you guys are enjoying the content that we're putting out so it's all up to you guys and viewers what you want to see once again thanks for watching and we'll see you next time